Hello world, this is ML, and I am back with another video vlog. In this particular episode, I will try and attempt to waterproof my field tracker Timberland boots. Now, before I proceed, this is not a sponsored video. Whatever you see on this video, I paid with my own money. Now on to waterproofing. So this will be my first time. Hopefully it doesn't damage my Tims, okay? So this is manufactured for leather, suede, cotton, canvas, nylon, polyester, and similar materials. Now, this is the direction. Surface to be treated must be clean and dry. Brush up suede prior to spraying. Hold can upright. Spraying six to eight inches from object. Covering the entire surface. Excessive spraying may darken some colors and natural leather. Repeat as needed. Let dry before use. Precaution, this is extremely flammable, all right? It's not for kids. You got to have uh, adequate ventilation because this is vapor. Before I apply this, I'm going to crack my window a little bit and I'm going to get my uh, little brush. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Windows are cracked for ventilation and I'm gonna use this to just brush off um, you know whatever dust I have because I literally just use these boots maybe twice three times the most all right Spray it six to eight inches. Oh, you know what? It's a little, got a little, you know, I don't know what you call that. Maybe just debris from the wrapping paper. Nevertheless, we're going to clean it. We have a uh, towel on top of this table. I'm just going to leave the um just going to leave the shoelaces or the boot laces there. To me the most important is of course the the size of the boots. But I think pretty much every angle and every uh, nicks and crevices of the boots is important to waterproof. But uh, I'm going to spray pretty much every corner of the boots. Okay. So I think that's it. That's... Looks pretty clean. All right, other ones. All right, now on to the spraying. Let me just tuck this in because.
Suck it in, suck it in. So I'm planning to use this boot for maybe often, you know, because after all, it, it is getting quite colder, you know. Hopefully, this whole thing would change. My whole environment would change soon, soon. I think that's adequate, right? Smells like like a little bit of glue. Right, the back here. Just put let me just tuck this in there because I don't I don't know what it can do to the cable. I'm not going I'm not going really going to like soak it, you know? Just add a kit, you know what I mean? Maybe do it twice. I'm gonna do it twice. For GP, you know? Doing the tongue as well. I'm gonna do it once again, double coating, baby. Be right back. <laughs> All right, so I cracked the window a little bit more. It's a little bit nippy out there, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to fall off here. So on to the second pair. It's kind of fun, you know, not too close. I observed it when you spray a little bit too close, it, you know, it leaves like a, like a wet mark. So just try to like pull back a little bit. All right, that's the first coating. I'm gonna do another coating, second coating. Here we go. Even though this boots is already waterproof, but still, you still want to protect it. You know, double armor, you can't go wrong with that. All right. And there you go. So, as per direction, let it dry. So, we're going to let this dry before I use it. So, 
So it, it didn't change the color because I, I didn't put a lot of uh, a lot of this thing here. You know, I just you know dabbed on it. Maybe I need to put more. Should I put more? I don't know. I'm gonna you know what? I'm I'm gonna put more. Three times is you know is the way to go. I'm a, I'm gonna put one more. Why not? Let me know if you guys have this and let me know how well this works. All right. Let me know in the comment section. You know what? Just for GP, I'll do the laces. Why not? Why not? Just one, one touch. There you go. So I do the the water test maybe in, in another video. I do the water test. Hello world. This is a few days after I sprayed my Tims with the water and stain repellent spray. This is my Tims. Okay. Now we're going to do the test to see if the spray is really effective. The left side. Okay, so it's dry. The bottom, not as much, but I guess let's do it again. Wow, it's dry. It's dry. You're going to test out the right side now. Wow, look at that. It does repel. Dry. Okay, I'm impressed. It's dry. The rubber part here, there, yeah, I wouldn't worry so much because that's rubber. It's already waterproof. But as far as the new buck material, it's not wet at all. This one as well. See? So, the water and stain repellent, in my opinion, is effective. Thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video. 
and subscribe to my channel. Any questions, leave it on a comment box. Thank you for watching. A World, check out the brand Dosos at www.dosos.clothing. Our latest merch is this Hello World crew neck. To me, it's very comfy. It's pretty warm. You know, winter is upon us, so get yourself some. And it's limited, limited, limited while supplies last, all right? And I'm not saying that because it's my brand, but I only made a few, all right? This is embroidered. Okay, check it out. High quality stuff, all right? That's www.dosos.clothing. Thank you. Once again, this is ML from Kadirs.tv. Hello, world. Bye, world. Peace.